two and a half hour drive west from Cairo to St. Macarius Monastery. Right now we're crossing the Nile River here in Cairo. We're on our way out to the deserts to find the tomb of Elisha. There's the Nile River. So we're in the Macaris. This is from the seventh century. This red brick was the entrance in the seventh century. spiritual crown refers to something that happened at the time. We were what time did that see? We were two witnesses miracling, one man and his child. The boy had a vision from heaven, like angels with the spiritual crowns for each of them. The Berbers, the Berber swords, the martyrs' blood. The water world, the Berbers washed their swords in before they left the monastery. The painter of this icon didn't draw the Berbers, but he drew only their shadows. Mm, shadows. Oh. They don't deserve to be uh, Sorry. They don't yes. deserve to be shown. To be yeah. And this is where all their relics are, their bones yeah, the are relics here are underneath. Bronze. From the 5th century when the Berbers came and raided the place and they killed look like a tree. 47 mm -hmm. of them. They yes, they look like a tree. A tree. This is where the monks stayed in case of attack, a fortress. They would go in these stairs up and across the drawbridge and this drawbridge would raise up and to the recessed areas there. They had everything they needed to live in there for a month. What in order to tradition refer to the bread and the wine? Mm -hmm. The same chapel line of the leg, the center, the folds of open sides as usual. We're at the Sacred Liturgy in St. Macaris Monastery in the deserts of Egypt.
journey to arrive here in the deserts of Western Egypt at the monastery of St. Macarius, where we have the bones of Elisha the prophet and John the Baptist. They were discovered right down there under that archway and recovered and put into this beautiful reliquary. And we see there the description. Alicia the prophet, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. The monks invited us to share lunch with them, which we did of spinach and beans and rice. Very simple meal, but very filling with some vegetables. And then we went out and sat under the vines and had some tea together while we kind of recapped what we'd discussed and asked a lot of questions. Then the bookstore, where we found some great books and other items that we bought to bring home with us. And after that, we faced the horrendous Cairo traffic as we went back into the city. There's the pyramids again, and the traffic is just thick. It takes about an hour to go 15 miles, and this little girl wasn't too happy about it either. Overall, it was a very successful time here in Cairo visiting the bones of St. John the Baptist and Alicia the Prophet and getting that footage. Tomorrow morning, we go back to the airport and we fly through Istanbul to Paris and back home to the United States. Thank you.